Ghost Potions live action movie. We can definitely play Damn that. It. That's still here. We got all kinds of stuff. That won't be a problem at all. Oh, play for Redemption Night? Oh, yeah. But you know what? I'll ask him. I don't know if he'll do it again because he was. He, he actually, I know what he wants to redeem for Redemption Night. He wants to do Dragon's Lair and get that, that yeah. negative one. He, he really wants to do that. that he was one, also one, talking, one. Uh, maybe for you guys, because you didn't see this episode. Uh, the first episode where we met John Michael, he did. Uh, he destroyed Solstice. Amagon. And, no, it wasn't Amagon at first. It was Solstice oh. and Eight Eyes, I think. He destroyed two other games that weren't on the list. <laughs> I, mean, it was, I can't remember who did it. He played something. Destroyed it alongside Solstice, and then what happened was it was him, me, and Wyatt uh, took a round robin on Amagon, and John Michael just goes, "I think I can do this," and just steamrolled the game. And it was pretty cool to watch him do that through Amagon. So <coughs> maybe for the redemption, I hope we do it. Uh, we'll do Amagon again. And Solstice is like uh, a 3D perspective uh, puzzle action platformer. Shit! Oh yeah, Back to the Future and so. Yeah, I can't remember the episode. It's lost. That was that was two years ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, wrapped in Bayou Billy. That's right. Yeah, because he's doing Bayou Billy, and all of us like no one's beat Bayou Billy. He fucking steamrolls. <laughs> well, we you know at the time none of us thought Battle Kit Toes would be beaten or any of those hard games, and all of a sudden we all stepped our game up. I lasted longer than 10 seconds. I got the same thing with Bonnet Commando. Everybody was all like, yes. oh, that game takes two hours to beat. I'm like, I got it under 27 minutes. Like, no, you don't. Watch, just skip the whole fucking game. <laughs> Dragon Slayer is a, oh man, a lot of, oh, it's, 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 uh, it's heartbreaking. But we're going to definitely have, I'll say this about the 100th episode. Most of it will be to be announced. We will have some tournaments that will be worth seeing. And a bunch of uh, other things. I'll keep most of it secret until we have it. The only game that's confirmed for right now is Mike Tyson's Punch Out. And we're going to try and get through the entire game, like race through it. That'll be fun. We should be able to do that. Get a good run of Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Me and Troy were playing it last weekend, and we I can get all the way up to Tyson without dying. I still can't beat Tyson. I got my ass whooped. I keep messing up on Mr. Sandman. He starts whooping my ass. Yeah, he's tricky. I can, hit, I can get Tyson halfway through, like halfway down, and then he starts whooping my ass. I'm like, oh, man. You gotta know those guys inside now. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Plus all the tricks. Shit! Uh, no, House of Grime, my Bonnet Commando run is one of the first ones we lost. Uh, sadly. It was, it was, Twitch at the time was messing up, so the Bonnet Commando run, uh, I did it in like 25 minutes, 26, I was screwing around, talking. It was the uncensored version of Bonnet Commando. Uh, we had a huge crowd here, we blew up Hitler's head, we all went cheering. Um, I am gonna do that again, though, for, uh... Uh, one of the nights, we'll see. I haven't decided which episode. Maybe for the hundredth, maybe for the redemption and all that, uh, depending on time. But I definitely am going to redo that because people have been asking about that a lot. About watching the Bionic Commander run again, so I'll run that and go again. John Michael did beat Jerry Desilius. That was the head-to-head -head race, yeah. <laughs> Salvador Dali says Helga is not very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the Hoblings. We've actually requested quite a bit for Tyler to come back and beat Batman again. So maybe we'll do that for the 100th episode. We'll have him come back and schedule fitting and have him see if he can do a no-death Batman run. Because he was so close the first time. He got to the Joker. I think he died once. Yeah, that was it, crazy. It was a hell of a run. I thought that game's awesome to watch. It's got a great soundtrack. Yeah, it does. Damn it. Flaming Herpes, Salvador Dali yep. says. <laughs> Flaming Herpes will get you every time. Yeah, we're going to go all out for the 100. That's going to be awesome. All kinds of stuff. But I'm going to stop talking about that because i got a lot of stuff to do for that still. But the Mega Man episode will also be pretty awesome. All kinds of Mega Man fans are here. I'm trying to get us all to dress up in something. You'll see. Costumes provided by Jeff, Captain LGN. <laughs> His excellent printing skills. <laughs> yeah. like you know you screwed up right when you jump. Super Macho Man is hard. Tyson is really hard though because the problem
problem with Tyson is he's random. Yeah. His first punch will come within a one to three second delay, and then after that, the pattern just does whatever it wants. You literally have to watch a twinkle in his eye. I swear that even though I know Mr. Dream is the same character, I think Mr. Dream is easier. Really? I don't know why. I never beat that one either. I beat Mr. Dream. But Tyson is just like, impossible. I just don't have quick enough reflexes for it. Because you have you have to dodge like every punch within the first like minute. Otherwise you're just dead. God. Just keep doing this. Not that. Beat Tyson drunk? That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't know Jeremy could do that. That is pretty crazy. That means he must have played Tyson like nobody's business. Yeah. To beat Tyson drunk. You guys are going to see a really impressive punch out run. Uh, go on YouTube and type in Mike Tyson blindfold speed run for speed demo archives or summer yeah. games done quickly or something like that. This guy blindfolds himself, gets all the way to Tyson just with his ears. It's it's insane. <laughs> you know what? Maybe that'd be a fun thing to do for the hunt episode. Just as a fun little, because we have so much time. Yeah. It's a fun little uh, tournament. What if we all try to get through level one one of Mario blindfold? <laughs> see the fun, like, we'll blindfold ourselves and put the headphones on, let them listen, and go. See how far I can get by your memory. Three lives. <laughs> that could be kind of fun. Shit. Winter games done quick. Yeah, not winter games that we played here, but the actual winter games done quick. <laughs> yeah, they usually do a summer games done quick at winter games. <laughs> Salvador Dolly saying resistance is futile. It really is. She's using her powers of nagging and crafting to wear you down, Jeff. I want to go to Ikea. Why don't you like my sister? Let's go talk to my mother. <laughs> I'm cold. I'm hot. Stop touching the temperature. Hold me. Touch me. Why don't you love me? So-and-so's fiance got her something. Shit! She's throwing bonbons at you. Yeah, she is. Tell me I'm pretty! The I don't know if anyone watches Sons of Anarchy, but Katie Seagal, the girl who played Peggy Bundy, is an actress on there. And, uh... It was really, really funny because there's a one world review of the latest uh, episode. I said, wow, man, Peggy Bundy's a psycho bitch. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I have to say that we can make an entire, like, laughing moments uh, episode just based off our Winter Games we played it. Just watching that episode, I mean, we had, like, 15 people here, everyone trying to do Winter Games. Nobody can land one trick. Yeah. It was hysterical. <laughs> Up next! <laughs> next! And then Mohawk Mike, like, by himself when no one's here, is busting his ass. He landed one trick in ice hot, or, uh, figure skating. Got like a .02. It's like, I scored! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, the close. shit happened there! <laughs> that was lucky. Shit, you know what? Jump. I just realized she doesn't fire above you, does she? She just fires straight ahead? I don't know. Why don't you try jumping over her when she does that? And see whether they, if they follow you or not. Because if not, you can get right behind her and just score a bunch of free hits. Or she'll just clothesline you with her raging hormones. Yeah. Shit, don't jump there. Shit. 
shit! Oh. Alright, I'm starting to get it. It only took 15 minutes. Hey, it's not bad. This is the second, this I guess would be the last boss boss. Do we have to collect all of something to get, like, some other special weapon in this game again? Probably. Oh, Jesus. How many crystals do we have to get? Alright, we got Boop Savage? Shit. Shit! That's the easiest one to dodge. How's Grand St. Jeff? It's coming together. Shit! <laughs> Usually on the third one, I'm up, I'm up long enough that she shoots them all. Salvador Dali saying, "Done, got face humped." <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Ooh, there's another hidden area with a power up like the first game. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. It could be a hard game. You done goofed, boy. <laughs> you done goofed. <laughs> Here, let me do this quick. Take over talking. I gotta go uh, settle up real quick. Right, so Dave's gonna take over real quick. This is the one. Fuck! You got this, Jeff. Just wait till the Germans bomb Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Fucking Germans. Just keep doing this. Progress. Shit! Oh, shit. I gotta, that second one, I gotta jump higher. So close. Jump there. Oh shit! I had a good start there. Okay, so according to the chat, the game is going to guide us to all of the crystals, so we don't have to worry about trying to find them. Uh, we could probably just when this airs. Uh, just look at the time codes to see how long your metal storm took.
saúde. Oh, shit. Shit. Fucking tore through that game. <sighs> Shit. I went to go get food and you were already on stage five. <laughs> Dangerously, Jeff. Flying too close to the sun. You're gonna give you're gonna give House of Ground a heart attack. You don't want to endanger the health of our viewers. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh fuck! Cheering you on, Jeff. They're forming a spirit bomb for you. <laughs> wants to know when it's the four fireballs on top of each other and you have to double jump it if you yes. can't hit them. But I don't know if you're willing to test that out. Jeff living dangerously as featured in Battle Kid 2, the story that will make you cry more than Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> a room full of puppies. Dying puppies. Puppies that don't have homes. I don't know if it's possible or is it still, but you never know. Oh, horse shit! Bullshit! <laughs> They're 
saying nobody goes home until you beat this Jack. <laughs> Oh, that's me. Let me putting up a cot. I have no idea. What's up? Game of bot. I think I have two of them. I have one. That's one of the only ones I haven't played. I didn't plan to. Um, we played the, uh, the 3DS one. Yeah, well, it's Four Swords and Four Swords Adventure. Four Swords is just like, here is four areas, have Shit. fun. So. That's all she was doing the whole time. You just jump once, and then you do a double <laughs> jump. Thank you, Salvador Dali. I totally needed to cry. Just send me the link to Angel by Sarah McLaughlin. Come on, Jeff. This job. Shit! Oh, fuck. I didn't stay up high enough. Oh, okay, cool. Double jump ones are the hardest ones to do. I hear you, man. Shit. Ooh, that was... Living dangerously, Jeff. Didn't mean to. Oh, oh shit. I didn't. Yes! Yeah! Now go save that shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Go save it! Don't go through the door four! Go save it! <laughs> no, I want to say she has warts! No, God, don't. Don't make me do keep doing. Fuck the internet, go left! <laughs> oh, that's a good way to end the night! Oh shit, come on! <laughs> Just, just go. You good? You got it? Yeah. Alright. So let's just see what the next area looks like. Uh. Oh! Oh! oh. Go for it! <laughs> yeah! Did it really good? Yeah. Um, up and around. Yeah, yeah, you gotta. We well, can't go all the way. Oh yeah, because we gotta, yeah, because we can't go up that way. Uh, what games are next week? 
not the genuine one. Uh, Metroid. No, that's that's the week with Metal Gear. <laughs> I guess you gotta go all the way down to the bottom. Uh, he, Dan said he's gonna post it in the fan club, so we'll have it up there in a bit. Oh! Yeah. You gotta get like really far down. That is ugly. I <laughs> couldn't figure out. Was that Helga the sixth boss or was that the fifth? Because she was. Oh, she was a mini boss. Doesn't count. Ah, damn it! <laughs> Def count eight ninety nine. Let's get to let's get the nine hundred for the night. Let's get the nine hundred and call it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even float. Nine hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that was like the easy way out. I'm good. Do you have anything to say? See you next week. See you next week. Tune in next week, same time, same channel. Hopefully we beat another Battle Kid boss.